clean jumpers one day and ordered the same thing. Yeah, that was a start of a brotherly relationship. I got inducted into the, you know, the circle, circle of truth, right? It was always, you know, here's to us and those who want to be like us. Fuck everybody. You know, that was it. That was, uh, that's what he stood by. You know, and personally, some people didn't care for that attitude. You know, but within our circle, within our family, it, it, it's, it was real. Hi, I'm Donnie Oliveira, also known as the martial artist. Painting I've done my whole life. MMA is my favorite sport. I think it was just a, a natural evolution that the two met. In August of 2011, uh, John Tompkins passed away. I instantly thought, well, I gotta do a tribute to Sean Tompkins. One, he's Canadian, two, he's the best coach. Legacy. You were my hero, you were the greatest. You were always on my side. You were those bright eyes, guided me to life. You might your shoulder, you cry in life, no, it ain't fair You were right next to me, now you, you're up there And I, I, I never get the chance to say goodbye You are my hero, you are the greatest you were always on my side. You would a lot of times be the first guy here um, before the gym opened, get a workout in for himself, hold pads for about 10 guys, and stay here till the gym closed, if not later. He was the hardest working guy I know. You know when he was living here, he still had all the boys back in Canada. Well, you know, obviously his, his greatest joys were, you know, his wife. You know his dogs you know but it was always great you know to see all the work that he put in to you know his fighters you know you know chris north and sam you can tell we're here at the training center the coach is back sean Tompkins. those are like his his sons so to speak and, and to see them win you know was like a, a huge huge victory for him see the all the work and, and the sacrifice that he put in, you know, to, to, to make that happen and help them get to where they are today. Best leader there is. Yes, it, was, it, was, it was great to see the, all the sacrifice pay off for him. You just have to believe in yourself, believe in your potential. That was, uh, that was something that I still, that still resonates with me, you know, very, 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 very dearly. It's just a bunch of guys that can relate to each other. You never got judged, and you never had to judge, and you know, uh, it's just being around real guys. Where in, you know, in most other industries, or even this industry, a lot of people are not who they are, or they, and that wasn't the case at all. So it was all the moments, because you always had, you know, the real person, you know, and I think that's something to value, especially in a town like Vegas, where everybody's fake. Sean was there to tell you, hey, this is reality, you know, the world is not your friend, you know, you, you got to go out there and you got to, you got to, you got to make, you got to make your, make a statement, you know, and, and, and make your name, you know, and create your legacy, you know, and uh, nobody's going to do it for you. You know, you got 10 people trying to do his job and it's not even close to what he's done. But what he did as a coach, it's hands down, I mean, it's undeniable. You know what he did and how he changed fighters' lives. You know, 
he's one of the best ever, you know, and I, I don't think there'll, there'll ever be another one, you know, like him. It's, it's very hard um, not having him around to, for advice or, um, yeah, it's, it sucks. But, I don't know, we'll see him soon and I'll get him back. Oh, wow. Um, it's tough, you know? Still miss him. It doesn't go away, you know? Hi, I am Jacqueline Van Happen. I'm Sean Tompkins' niece. My uncle was the type of guy that it didn't matter who you were, what you were worth, he'd always treat everyone the same and give them the same respect. He was so motivated and determined and living with him in Vegas was probably the best experience of my life. I wrote the song The Greatest uh, two days after he passed away and it was really difficult coming to terms with the fact he was gone but it felt like he was right beside me the whole time writing it with me, giving me strength for it and I'm really grateful to know that you know I have the best guardian angel ever watching over me. It's it's definitely um, it's hard every day knowing that he's never coming back, but the legacy will always live on. Sean Tompkins, the coach forever. <laughs> I used to view the world like it was black and white, but now I can't seem to transition myself to see the light. All I seem to do is fill my heart up with guilt and confusion. Since you've been gone, cause I've been making up illusions inside my head that you're not dead, that this is just a bad dream, that I'll wake up strong and tough will reminisce on memories. In my heart, I know damn well this is just reality. Some selfish reason that is sad to take you away. Is that
That's who 